Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 696, NASDAQ's up 339, SPs are up 101, gold contract trading down $1.20 at 1709 flat, silver's off 16 cents. $18.67 an ounce. Light sweet crude up at buck thirty-six at one oh three ninety-five. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down sixteen six, one seventeen thirty-one. The third year off nineteen at one thirty-eight twenty-one and King Dollar. King Dollar is down six hundred and fifty-two ticks trading at one oh six seven fourteen. The euro is at one oh two. The yen is trading at a price point of 138. The British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, market wants higher price. We're coming up to the swing. It looks like the S&P is also going to close above one of the swings, not the, the second one. So the first swing, which was the last swing that was established out here, on the 6th of July, that swing is uh, 390.64 or 392.06. The next swing, okay, is that uh, 393.16. Um, hey, we'll see whether it attacks it today. Uh, doesn't have enough volume. We'll see. If we, if we close right underneath it, man, it's going to be a big deal because that'll blow through this in about two seconds. That being said, let's get over to and look at the NDX 100. For the Qs, uh, basically, the SMH is leading the Qs, the Qs are leading the NDX, uh, and the NDX is dragging everything up with it. So, what do we have? They're at the Qs right now, the swing point on the Qs, 296.57, you're at 298.15. Well, we needed 54 million shares there. It's going to be, we, we can very well get 54 million. We're at 40 right now. So you get the 54 million. That's telling me that we're going up to that 314.56 area. Right now, that's going to be, your benchmark out here is going to be the June 2nd high for right now. That's how this baby shakes out. Gold. Gold contract out here still hasn't caught a bid. Bottom line is that you get uh, 124,000 contracts out here today. You're backing down. You're actually going sideways. There's no sellers either, but there's no buyers. So you're at 124,000 contracts. That's light contract volume. When we came down last week, those couple days, you came down hard and fast, man. I think it was 200. Let me pull this up. Yeah, the first day was 301,000 contracts. The second day was 266. So the selling's gone. Now the real question is, are we going to get any buyers? And let's go over to King Dollar. So King Dollar is ruling the whole deal. There's no two ways about that. And you get King Dollar. Had some follow through out here. Now the number to keep your eye on the King Dollar as we come into this close here, and we're right at it, is the 106,792. What that is, folks, is this. Is that we, you know, well, King Dollar's been going up for six months straight. That being said, on the, whoop, get, let me get rid of that one. There we go. On the 5th of July, that's when King Dollar took off like a rocket ship and went up 1,700 ticks. So the top of that is the 106,792. Now we're into it, but we're only into it by 92 ticks. If we can get into that deeper bottom line, that'll say it's going to go on back to that area. Then your next benchmark is going to be the high that was established out here in May. Uh, that number is 105,005. If you basically, you know, if we, if we get into this bar, now this will be the really cool thing. If we get into the bar deeper, the bottom line is your probability goes much higher, you're going to get to the bottom line. Then you're dealing with the swing point in May. You get underneath that, and then guess what? You're going to be right back down to this uh, 101, 289. So if you're trading this market, uh, keep your eye on the dollar, because the correlation is absolutely direct. Dollar down, market gets breathing room. Dollar up, market gets strangled. It's that cut and dry. We go take a look at, uh, let's go to Twitter, because what's happened here, Elon Musk is going to be in for a shock, folks. I mean, it's going to be really interesting. You know, he's, he plays with the law on a continual basis. 
No doubt about that. Uh, but guess what? <laughs> the Chancery Court is a whole different animal. And so what you get is it. So let's, I'm going to go through this for you so you can actually see what came down here. Because the, and you get, remember something, the Chancery Court of Delaware, okay, is not your typical court. It's not even close, okay? They, it's, all the corporations are there. They're well-versed in all the legalese, and they're also well-versed on Wall Street being sharks and screwing each other on a continual basis. So, here's what came down. Twitter uh, can fast-track its lawsuit against billionaire Elon Musk over the canceled $44 billion buyout. Uh, the Delaware Ch Ch Chief Just... Chief Judge ruled Tuesday that a five-day trial should take place in October. The decision is an early victory for Twitter. Um, lawyers for the San Francisco-based Twitter had said they needed only four days to prove that the world's richest man must honor his agreement to pay $54.20. Um, the, let's see, under the buyout agreement, Musk is ob ob obligated to finalize the deal within two days of all the closing conditions being met these conditions will be met in early September. Uh, and the bottom line, the judge said that in asking for February trial, Musk lawyers underestimated the ability of this court to quickly process complex legal disputes over merger and acquisition cases. The bottom line, folks, this is how this goes, okay? It's specific performance. And what specific performance is, they can get you for the whole ball of wax, okay? And the financing, so check out the, how this is going to work. That's why they wanted this trial in October because the financing is already in place and the financing is good I believe till April 23rd of 2023. My take, guess what? He's either going to come up with a huge amount of money to bail out or they, they, he's going to buy it. He's gonna, they're going to make him buy it and yes they can make him buy it. That's the mind blower about this whole deal. <laughs> so it's going to be intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. This may be the first time that Musk you know basically plays with the rules and Ah, gets burnt in a monster way, okay? Because the bottom line, it is what it is. And yeah, Dow. Dow right now is trading up 698. NASDAQ's up 336. S&Ps are up 100. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.